All right, go for it. <laughs> yeah for the record this is the second second time we started this the first time there are a few few minor disasters all, for the record this is fault. the 300th time we have done it and he's just being polite <laughs> yeah we, yeah exactly uh so this is damon smith everybody he's the piano man and one of the two main drivers of sun rising not so much driving the van driving the band i would say i've never driven the van I that, don't think. maybe once really, that's not yeah okay it's not a strong suit of mine to drive vehicles no, but driving a piano, definitely a strong suit. And this is a Sunrising hat, by the way, which I'll I've get some of these. Well. It's a black one. Yeah, yours is a black one. Yeah. It's a nice, it's nice. That's the new model. Yeah, it is. It's the new model. It's the new, it's cool. oh, it's the same. yeah, it's pretty much. So, Damon Smith, Gun Piano Man, today we're going to do a little special. It is from a guitar point of view, but something that's going to be really cool is that Damon Smith plays guitar as well, has been doing the Jerry Lee stuff for a long time. We've been playing together for nearly 10 years. And over that time, you know, we've both we both have probably developed some well informed opinions on things that work between guitar and piano. Was that is that fair to yeah, say? Yeah, I reckon absolutely. And it's it's joined really well. There's been a great amalgamation of the guitar and the piano as yeah. a product of it. Well, I've, a lot of the licks that we're going through today, as much as they're Jerry Lee Lewis licks, they're actually kind of Damon Smith licks because it's from years of listening to him after he's spent years listening to Jerry Lee Lewis. Yeah, I reckon. But also other piano players have crept in as well. You know, yep. That's the great thing about being a player is whatever instrument it is, you take all those licks from everyone Yep. and end up you know, being unique, I guess. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's kind of like a Jerry Lee Lewis, Damon Smith, and then all the other things that have crept into Damon's playing yeah, video. Yeah, <laughs> vernacular. So um, let's get into the first exercise, so to speak. Uh, now keep in mind, A... Subscribe to this channel if you haven't. B, if you are a Patreon, you will get all of these licks. And Damon is also going to come around your house and clean your toilet. Yeah, I'll be dressed in, I'll have like a bandana. You know, it's cool, I'll rock up on a motorcycle. Um, That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, it'd be pretty awesome. I can't ride one, but I'll rock up on it anyway. <laughs> on the back of one with somebody else. Yeah, or there'll be there. ropes and stuff and I'll just be pulled <laughs> along by another motorbike. Fantastic. All right, so exercise one. It's just a rhythm for Great Balls of Fire. So. Shake my nerves and you're out of my brain. Too much of love drives a man insane. You broke my wheel. Oh, what a thrill. Goodness gracious, Great Balls of Fire. Learn to love because I thought it was fun. You came along and you moved me, honey. My words fine, changed my mind. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Perfect. There you go. Actually, that was that was a good idea. Yeah, I just think to do it from the start made more sense. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. Awesome. So that's exercise one. Okay. Uh, and then the second one is a similar thing, the same rhythm, but with rhythm fills. So if we can just do that same form. Yeah. All right. And then I'm going to throw in a few little. Guitar licks. They're, they're piano inspired rhythm fills. Can you just play for us that? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I've heard that for years, so I've kind of worked that into my lead playing in little fills. It's kind of really good fun. All right, let's give that a shot. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Excellent. So that's number two. And then number three. Ah, this is the breathless one. Actually, I remember a really cool story. I remember I came around one night and you showed me on record. Yeah. Um, you showed me breathless on record. And I could really? really hear this lead line much clearer than on the recording. Okay. That... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, I remember hearing this lead line. And it was just jumping out of the record. Well, it's interesting because that is, you're in F, right? Yeah. It's actually like if you're playing a blues even on the piano or on the guitar, that rhythm and blues sound, it's that, but it's up an octave, right? Or yeah. two octaves. Yes, yes. And, it's, which, of course, creates the lead sound. Yeah, and, you and with me doing that. the same thing, it sounds fantastic. It really blends. You know, you hear the two. All right, let's give them a form of that. All right. One, two, three, four. Oh, straight to a verse. That's cool. Oh, yeah, right. One, two, three, four. Many times Damon has said breakfast. Yes, I, and I, 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 think, I don't think breakfast. anyone notices, do they? No, I don't think so. But now and then the audience, an audience member will, you know, think that's interesting. Yeah. You have yes, to suggest, though. well, it's a rhyme, right? <laughs> it's nothing. Uh, These weird things happen, I guess, when you've done a show 3,000 times. Yeah. You know? Well, you can have a lot more fun on stage because the in jokes are well and truly, you know, they've sunken in, in place. You can almost and, call it like um, a sunken in joke. You absolutely can, and it's good. It's sometimes I say things, and you let me know on stage whether it's good or not, <laughs> and vice versa. Yes. Um, once you said something about a lead balloon, I think the, <laughs> the audience went quiet on one of my jokes. That was the uh, the postage stamp one. Yeah. yeah anyway, it's, oh, it's you'll have to see the show later. You'll have to see Where's the, the show. Oh. Yeah. You're probably we're probably putting people off the show, but you know. I would suggest so. Yes. <laughs> All right, speaking of which, let's stick to what we're good at, the music. The next one is a Julie-inspired solo. So, the form for this one, oh, I think you'll just know. What key is this what, one in? What is it? It's in C. Oh, this is like shaken. Yeah. Okay. So, so this is exercise what, four. So this is exercise four. It's a Jerry Lee inspired guitar solo. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> Why is that inspired? How is that inspired by Jerry Lee Lewis? That one, in, in truth, that one's probably more inspired by the guitar players listening to the guitar yeah. solos that you would hear. Yeah, right. So this, this lick, for example, that's a U lick. Right. I don't even know yeah. if Jerry plays that lick. I'm sure he plays that I don't know, song. yeah. But that's, I've heard you play that a million times. Yeah, but it... No, no, no. Or something very similar. Yeah. Or maybe I'm making all this up. Might be yeah. making it up. Yeah, maybe so. Um, so that, there's that one. So and it's then, inspired by me, not by... I'm going to have to change the title of this video. Yeah. Pretty it's, much. It's sort of um, Damon Smith. <laughs> so, um, yeah. and then the other thing is... Inspirations that, and memories. Inspirations and memories. And the, yeah. the guitar, like, you know, the... And the, the, the minor pentatonic, yeah. very, very commonly used... Um, even just a, this is that's inspired by the ding 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 that you yeah Jerry yeah because that's that token Jerry Lee sound I think if anything it's that it's that thing yeah you know, yeah exactly hear with that left hand somewhat adapted for guitar I mean I'm probably not is that an octave when you do that what what are you doing there well no you're up here so I'm actually hitting G E flat and then the octave G oh. but I mean where the yeah. Ah, and, okay. you know, and often he'll just do an octave, that sort of a thing. Yep. And then he'll take it right up to that. So that's on the C. That's on the C. Chord. That's if you're playing in C, yeah. Okay, so when it goes to the F, for example, you just... that would be. Uh, so we did G, E flat, and G. So now we're doing A flat. We're doing C, A flat, and C. So that would be. Ooh. Oh. No, that's well, actually, coming. I just leave the G in there, particularly if I'm up high. Yeah, right. And funnily enough, it still works. So it's basically like... Um, oh, I see. And it stays there. And of course, it sounds great. It resolves on the G. It, 
it resolves itself. That's really itself. cool. It's you know, really I never cool. picked that. I never picked that. I, I was just doing a classic double stop yeah, on, right. on the F. You know, so the spirit was there, but the notes were completely wrong. Still sounds cool, though, I'll maintain. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, there's a couple of reasons. Uh, does that justify the, the Jerry Lee inspiration, the guitar inspiration? I think the absolutely, Lee and, and I think you're so. right, because when we've played, like, you've taken bits of everything, as I said before, I have done, and, yeah, and the Jerry Lee sound, that bedrock of that left hand allows you to open up. Yes, And yeah, it use does. those rhythm and blues licks, you know. Yeah, That's absolutely. That's really cool. And then the last, the last thing is something that we sort of just... I think you played those kind of licks and then I sort of caught on to them over the years and we do this thing at the end of one of the solos where we sort of trade for a bit and then we do this. Yeah, which is a good little bit of theatre in our show, I think. Okay. So you want to count us in? Yeah. A one, two, three, four... <laughs> Can't keep away from it. And that's it. Damon, is there anything to guitar players that, that that want to get into this style that maybe want to work with on a, other piano players in a rock, rock, rock and roll or rockabilly context? Anything that you can suggest? Probably nothing more that you have said because your videos are really great. Oh, thanks. Damon. And um, and you know, informative. But one of the things I know that when I play this, and if often we've found we find ourselves in a position where we're playing with new members or different members, yep, um, is. Jerry Lee does this thing with his left hand where he's consistently leading the band yep. because he didn't have a bass player on Great Balls. There's actually no bass in that. Mm. Um, and I think Shaken was a similar vibe. Um, I could be wrong with that song. And so he, and I quite love it and it's really nice to do it. It's um, using the same form. You'll hear the left hand creep up. He's always leading it with his left hand. And occasionally when there's a solo for a guitar player or sometimes sax, he'll change that form and he'll do this. And uh, which I think is really cool because it then sounds, it mimics that bass as well. Ah, that, that isn't okay. actually there in those early recordings. So. so to a guitar player, would you think with that sort of stuff going on, it's probably important to stay a bit out of the way? I think it, you've got to sort of sit around for mid-range and up with your octaves. Yep. Um, you really don't, there is no need to really chug along. Yep. Um, and if you do, I notice one thing Adrian does is he chugs along more up. So he finds an octave that works well with that down there, which is usually around here, maybe one or two octaves higher. And then it, it sounds good to the audience. So actually, I just thought a good example would be, I've, and I've given you this... <laughs> we go to the F there, but it might be advisable, depending on what the left hand's doing or how prominent or how complex that left hand line is, to take it up there. And I do that sometimes, I don't even know why. I just know sometimes I yeah. should be up here. Uh, and then other times, sometimes I do grab down there, and I think it depends what you're doing. If you're if it you're might, if you're yeah. right up high with the right hand, I don't mind going low as much. Yeah. Um, even though it probably sits just above the bass. Although I think my Yeah, I, I yeah, but when you're when you're Hand, when you're not soloing, I tend yeah. to want to come up here a little bit more for some reason because it. Well, that's the other interesting thing is when you have combined styles. So stylistically, you now have in my um, with me, I have sometimes Dr. John style runs and Jerry Lee, and so yeah, I don't necessarily always go up to the four. Sometimes I go down to the four. Okay. Which is a. a, a a lot of steps down, you know, you're only Gets going up here, low. so you get lower. So in the, those times, you're probably hearing that and going, oh, you know, and then you shift it up, you know. Yeah, it's, hard, it's hard to place. explain because it's evolved over 10 years. Like, how many shows has Sun Rising done? Now? I would say probably three we've done. Um, he's an absolute liar. No, we have done, I reckon we've done hundreds and hundreds. Yeah, I think, I yeah. think it's, yeah. Couple hundred, I think, yeah, which is a lot. Yeah, you know, I mean, think about it. There's only fifty weeks in a year, so that's right. Anyway, yeah. um, do you want to let's just let's just weeks. play play it out now. Let's yeah, have yeah. a little bit of a jam. Fifty-two weeks. Did I say fifty? Yeah. 
Don't come to me for anything. Mathematically, in the he's inept. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want, do you want to do? Um, do you want to do one of your originals even? Yeah, sure. Um, I'm trying to think of one of them, the the more piano originals from the new record that can encompass this sort of stuff. There's one very obvious nod to Jerry Lee, um, which is the left hand, which I can show you. Um, that song, do you know what I mean? Do you remember that song? Yeah, what key was that in? And you play a great solo on that. That's in G. And yep. that's a good in, good example of incorporating styles that we learn from other places, because with that, it starts like a Jerry Lee. But then it changes somewhat. And I'm doing a... One of those things that's impossible to do slow, and there's things on guitar like that as well. Sometimes you have yeah, to play yeah, it fast yeah, in order to get the impact. That's all right, just rip into it. Yeah. All right. To get up and hard to get moving, hard to get down, and hard to get through, and you know what I mean. Do you know what I mean? Well, I need somebody to help me through my days. I've been turning around with not a lot to do. I change the pace, I need something new. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. Well, I need somebody to help me through my day. Thanks so much for uh, coming on the show, man. Thanks for having me. Um, it's first time I've called really it a good. show. It's my YouTube channel. Yeah, there you go. It's a concert. It's, a show. it's, it's a an online concert. concert. Um, Check out Damon's music. I'll put a link in the top comment. I'll put a link to your album. Can you put the link? Um, just looking at the camera format here. So this is the composition. Adrian's very good at composition. I'd like the link just here, if possible. Done. And this yeah. can be also, this could work for a little screenshot for the thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, man. Great, thank you. Fist bump. Adrian. Okay. Oh, one, two, three. Ah, I felt like our timing was a bit hazy farther then. Ah. Sorry, man. It's all right. <laughs> one, two. Oh, my God. Sorry, man. I knew this would take a few goes. No, take your time. Whew.